Welcome to version 3 of the Phoenix Bot. In version 3 there's been a lot of changes and as such I've had to create a new tutorial video. Um, this tutorial video will cover only the owner commands and also the installation onto your server. So as you can see I've got a brand new empty server here. I'm now going to add the Phoenix Bot with these permissions. Okay. Once it joins, it uh, will send me a message soon saying this. Once it does, it will then be able to do everything that I'll need it to do. So just give it a moment and yeah. So now has registered our server. Recommends you watch those tutorial videos which I'm creating right now. So let's start. To start off we've got commands like this. We have uh, only owner commands you will be able to access as the owner. Only administrator commands which administrators can access and the owner. Moderator as administrator, owner, and moderators can access, and then general is everyone. We're going to cover only the owner commands, which are level 3 commands. We have unban, raw, logs, add admin, remove admin, ban, bot leave, not functioning right now, bot reset, not functioning right now, ban, kick, not functioning right now, set command power which is quite important okay but before we get to the commands actually let's go back to our role settings yeah as you can see the bot dev um, role is actually quite low you have to move that back up to the top above all the roles that you want the prefixes and suffixes to work on or in general the rest of the commands like ban and unban and stuff Let's do unban. Unban currently has the all function, so if I do unban all, it's going to be zero users because I haven't banned anyone on the server. You can say confirm and it will basically do it. It'll delete that message as well. Um, ban. Uh, with ban, you have to either indicate, you have to indicate a role. So if I say ban at new role, it will say, okay, uh, everyone in that role, do you want to really ban them? And you can say confirm. Since there's no one in that role, it's instant. Okay. Let's move on to the raw command. Raw command's more of a debugging feature. Raw command allows you to um, get raw information from mentions and custom prefixes and suffixes or whatever. Uh, so if I do this, it tells me that the ID, in fact if we copy this and we try to paste it, it will say this, it will actually indicate the role. If you do a raw at Phoenix bot for instance, it will now give me the ID of the Phoenix bot as this. IDs are just really a debugging feature. Uh, you can also do raw and emoji. Um, let's see. Uh, for instance this. It will show you the displayed version of it. So this is what you would see in a username. If I were to change my nickname here, you see, uh, you can't actually change this. It won't look like that ever uh, on Discord, as far as version three is considered. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to the logs command. Which, if you just type logs 
it will send an error message saying you didn't specify what you wanted the logs to do. If you do logs get, it will now send me the logs log, which I'll download, open, and there we go. So this is uh, basically a log of when, what type of message it was, the server, your name, or the person's name that sent it, and the commands that executed, the time it took for that command to fully execute locally, for instance 2 milliseconds is sort of fast, but it's still kind of slow, and that's just generally due to several factors. Okay, moving on. We've got the add admin command. So if I say add admin add role, new role, it will now get, it will now make that role an admin role. Important thing to note that you don't have to mention roles. With this, you can say add, uh, new role, lowercase. And it'll find the first role to uh, become a new admin role. So it will just find any piece of this text that becomes um, a role. It ha it's case sensitive, just so you know. So if there was a capital N there, it would have to be capital N. While this can be problematic, um, generally if there's a problem where it's adding the wrong role, you just have to indicate it with the uh, at. So, if I wanted to be that one, I wanted to be that one, there we go. We go to the remove admin role, move admin at role. I believe if you do not indicate anything it will say no role found so this might be different if say no it won't be different in this case actually you see it will remove the this part of the command first before it continues okay ban command we've just covered that earlier bot leave doesn't work uh, Phoenix reset doesn't work. Kick doesn't work. Set command power. Set command power is quite uh, useful. If I just say set command power, command is incomplete. Uh, it's very vague. So what you actually have to say is command power. The power level from zero to four, or zero to three actually, and then the exact command name that you would enter here for instance so raw 2 2 there we go now the raw command requires you to be a level 2 user to be used uh, we can alternatively say moderator now reset the command uh, it can be moderator general administrator oh no those are the word based ones alternatively you can just say zero one two and three so now it rolls back to uh, the original. Okay. That's all for the owner commands.